Are you struggling with breastfeeding butt loss? Me too. In this video, we're gonna talk about the science behind it and some tips on how you can slow it down. Welcome back ladies and for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tabitha. I'm here to help all you busy ladies juggling jobs, careers and kiddos with no real time to exercise. I'm going to give you exercise tips, tricks, routines and even product reviews to help make exercise a part of your life. And today we're talking about breastfeeding butt loss. Yes, it's a real thing. Are your jeans starting to sag? Your butt doesn't fill it out quite as much? I know we just went through pregnancy. You were bigger, you didn't fit your clothes, you got into postpartum and you're losing the weight now and you're like, yes, I'm going to look cute again, except your clothes don't fit your butt. I know it happens to all of us, all of us breastfeeding moms that is. And it happens to varying degrees depending on how big your butt was prior to pregnancy or during pregnancy and, or how little it was and how much weight you have lost. But in this video, we're going to talk about the science behind it. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications of when I post a new video. So let's get into it. We're going to first cover what is called glutamoral fat. So glutamoral fat is the fat on your lower body. It's basically your butt and thighs. The amount of fat that you acquire on your butt and thighs is definitely going to vary by your genetics, but everybody's a little bit different. So don't compare your butt with mine because I'm Portuguese, Puerto Rican, and that's really where I carry all my fat. So everybody's going to have a varying degree of it. During your puberty age, that is when we start really collecting glutamoral fat. And you can collect anywhere from 10 to 20, maybe even more, kilograms of fat. But if you've noticed, if you're a person that does carry a lot of fat on your butt and thighs, even if you would cut your calories and exercise a lot, it was still hard to get rid of butt fat. But all of a sudden, you're nursing and now it's gone. Like, adios, goodbye. It packed its bags. It left. You didn't even see it leave. It just happened so fast. You were like, what happened, right? <laughs> what happened to my butt? Um, that's basically what happened to me for the first pregnancy. And it has continued to happen with each other pregnancy, but I've slowed it down during puberty, you're storing up fat. During your lifetime, you're storing up fat. And then you get pregnant and you start storing up even more glutamoral fat. Very, very important because it's all there for lactation, literally. Isn't that amazing? So the fat on our lower body is specifically put there for lactation. And you're like, well, why? So there's a study out there and I will link all these studies down below that talks about the waist to hip ratio in women. Now our waist to hip ratio is your waist divided by your hips. Women generally have a lower waist to hip ratio because their waist is smaller, their hips are bigger. Of course, everybody is going to vary by this. All right. So they say that a healthy woman is at a 0.8 five and below for waist to hip ratio, meaning you don't have a lot of visceral fat or fat on your belly. According to science, they tell us that the smaller the waist to hip ratio of a woman is, the higher their infant's cognitive ability is. Isn't that fascinating? So I'm not here to say that if you don't have a big butt, you don't have a smart baby, not at all. But what the research is showing us is that the more Fat that a woman has in her butt while she's breastfeeding, the smarter her baby will tend to be. And that's because of the important nutrients in butt fat. Glutamoral fat carries DHA and long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids. Now I'm not going to try to read DHA out for you because that's a crazy word, so I'll put it up here. But yes, those are very important nutrients for baby's brain growth. They say that 60 to 80% of the baby's DHA and long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids comes directly from your glutamoral fat. If you are a nursing mom, you maybe have did not notice a huge weight loss in the first three or so months because according to research, for a lactating mom, fat mobilization really begins around the three-month mark. And studies have shown that moms who 
breastfeed past six months will lose more weight than moms who bottle feed. Okay, which is, I don't know if it's that great of a news, depends on the way you look at it. Like it's good if you didn't lose your butt, right? But now we know that our butt is very important for our baby's cognitive abilities and our baby's brain health. So you're worried, I know you're like, my baby's cognitive abilities are going up and my butt is going down. So what can we do to help this? Now we're not gonna be able to stop it 100% because like we talked about, that's really there for the baby's brain health while you're lactating. But there are some tips that you can use to help slow the process down. And basically, this is what I do. Um, just a side note for you guys to know, my natural measurements for my butt is about a 37 and a half. I'm only 5'4". While I'm pregnant, my body puts on about four inches of butt fat. So I go up to 41 inches in butt fat. And then nursing, I lose it and I'm already back down to a 36. And so I don't want to lose any more of my butt because it really does go. So here's the tips that I use and hopefully they'll help you out too. So number one, you're going to want to eat more like dinner and then midnight snack and then maybe another midnight snack or an after dinner snack. I mean, I'm serious. It's really hard to eat as mom because you're always busy thinking about the babies. But at this point, if you're at a de deficit and you're losing all these calories, you need to replenish. Again, the baby's taking 60 to 80% of its diet from your glutamoral fat. So if you can fill in that 20 to 40% with your diet of healthy fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats to promote more DHA in the your bloodstream, essentially. So we're talking um, coconut oils, avocado, good healthy fish, olive oils, anything that has rich fatty acids in it, you really want to take that in. So it slows down the consumption from your own body, all right? So that is number one, just eat more. Number two will be maintain your glutes, okay? I know at this point we're losing a lot, our muscles just not as strong. Everything's going into nursing this baby. So the best thing you can do at this point is maintain what you have, okay? So continue doing glute exercises, continue walking, running, or whatever it is that you're working on at this moment. We don't wanna allow our muscles to degrade even more, then your butt's gonna shrink even more. So we want to maintain what we have. This is not the time that you're going to be able to grow any glutes. You may get stronger, but you might not be feeling it at this moment. But trust me, when this nursing phase is over, you'll get those glutes back. So just maintain what you have right now. And number three, the last tip really is to just don't stress about it. Don't stress, ladies, because I promise you, your glutes are going to come back. That fat is going to come back, especially when you stop nursing that baby and you're not getting that deficit of calories anymore and you're eating more, that glutes will grow back. I will show you a clip here that shows me after baby number two how small my butt got from nursing and then a few months later here how much my glutes glutes actually just naturally grew back. So everybody's gonna be a little bit different. If you're a female that never had that much butt fat in the beginning, it might take you a little bit longer, but after you nurse, you can pump the weights, right? You can inc increase your calories since you're used to eating a little bit more and really hit it hard in the gym for your glutes. But if you're a female that naturally carries a lot of butt fat, don't worry, it'll come back. Your body knows where it wants to store fat, so it's going to do that. You cannot change where your body naturally stores fat. And for me, it's my butt and thighs. And for other women watching this, it might too be butt and thighs. And I'm just telling you, ladies, don't stress. It'll all come back. This is just a phase in your life. But if you are looking for a booty workout, go ahead and click here. And you can do an at-home booty workout with me. Go ahead and tell me in the comments below, how much butt have you lost? Because I lost five inches. Tell me in the comments below how much butt you lost and we'll kind of cheer about it together and just go, yay, our babies are getting smarter. And we'll share again on how much our butt comes back after this breastfeeding phase is over. 
I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, ladies, stay positive, work hard, and God bless. Mahalo for joining me. Aloha. And click for more videos. Tell me what you want to see in the comments below.